Aaron, the next part of the processing procedures is to take the bottles that are remaining and you're going to fill those with either the filter that comes from a, a filtration or the water that came out of the filtration. Um, before you do that, you need to prepare the filtration apparatus. So you see in front of you, you have what we're calling the filtration apparatus. That includes the funnel, which is up top, the middle piece or the center piece, and the receiving flask. So the first thing you're going to do is separate all those things out. Each one of those is going to be rinsed with distilled water. So we've provided you a bottle full of distilled water. Okay. Unfortunately, we're right next to a sink. And so I just rinse them? Correct. Okay. Once or multiple times? That should be fine, the okay. way you did it right there. And you'll do the same with the other two pieces. It's not necessary to fill this with distilled water. Correct. Right? Uh, exactly as you've done it there. Okay. Just enough to rinse it out to make sure any debris that accumulated from the last time you did the processing is completely done. Okay. So you'll take the centerpiece, place it back on top of the receiving flask, and you'll have to be able to actually hear it snap on. Okay. Then you're going to take a filter from the, the small cup that has individual filters separated. You'll take what we're calling forceps, everyone else calls tweezers and you're going to try to grab a single filter and place it right on top of the centerpiece. You'll notice that it will quickly um, settle into the centerpiece. Okay. And before you um, take the next step, you want to make sure that you have a single filter. And the way to do that is okay. to look straight down on the centerpiece, and okay. if you see the grids, you know that you have a single filter. Okay. If you can't see the grids of the centerpiece, then you probably have more than one filter, and you'll want to remove that second filter. Okay. So we see that there's the grid there, so you have a single filter. You're going to take the funnel, and you're going to place it on top, and you're going to take the ring and close it. Okay. You'll want to hold the bottom yep. and take the top and see if you can spin it. If you can spin it a little bit, you'll want to tighten it a little bit more. You'll reattach the hose. Okay. Okay, and then the next step is going to be doing the processing for both the color sample and for the harmful alcohol boom or HAB filter. Okay. So for that procedure, you're going to want to take your collapsible container, um, invert it again because it's been a couple minutes since you finished okay. the last step. Then you're going to take your graduated cylinder, uh, which you also want to uh, rinse with distilled water. Okay, and you're going to want to fill that with 100 milliliters of water. And you'll look at the water level and make sure it's exactly lined up with the 100 milliliter mark. And then you'll pour the water directly into the funnel. Okay. Now you'll notice that the water is not going to move because it has to be drawn through the filter, which is why we have a hand pump. Okay. So you'll do, uh, you'll depress the pump a couple times, four or five times, and you should notice that the water starts to draw through the filter. If you notice that the filtration stops, then you'll want to pump a couple more times. Pumping too many times might actually break the cells that are right on top of the filter. Now this is the color test and the harmful algal bloom test. And for this test, we need to do 200 milliliters, but we want to do it 100 at a time, just in case the filter clogs. What happens if the filter clogs? If it does clog, then, you, then uh, you'll try to get as much of that 100 milliliters through, preferably all of it. Okay. If you can get the entire 100 milliliters through, then stop the filtration, um, and I'll take you through the last part of the procedures at that point. But you'll have to mark on the, the paperwork that you only filtered 100 milliliters instead of 200 milliliters. So, once the filtration is done, then you'll either take the hose off or release the port on the side of the filtr filtration apparatus. That'll release any vacuum that's left. Okay. And then you'll unscrew that centerpiece. Okay, and you'll take the funnel off. Okay, and then you're going to take that filter and you're going to place it into the vial marked HAB filter. Okay. So. Um, there are a couple ways you can do this, but probably the easiest way to do it would be to fold the, the filter into quarters, okay. and you'll want to grab, uh, exactly as you've done there, the very edge of the filter, trying to avoid touching the filter with 
the forceps. And if you need to use your other hand yep, to hold that down, that's okay because now we have the clean side of the filter that's facing up okay. and you're not going to contaminate the filter um, or move any of the algae around. And, and then, then we'll do that again. Yep. And you'll want to reconnect this with the rubber band. To this? To this. Okay. You are taking the water from here and placing it into the bottle mark color. Color test. Then you'll place that with the other bottles. Then the last procedure that we need to do is the chlorophyll filtration, which is the measure of algae in the water. So you're going to run through almost exactly the same procedure you did before. You don't need to rinse everything with distilled water because we've already done that once. We'll place the centerpiece on top. We'll place another filter directly on top of the centerpiece. This is one of the trickier parts of the process, <laughs> just getting a single filter out. And again, you see that the grid is visible, so that it indicates that you okay. have a single filter. Okay. You'll place the centerpiece, the big funnel back on top. And again, make sure that the threads are on tight by holding the bottom piece and seeing if the top piece rotates around. Okay. It doesn't, so that's good. Okay. You're going to take the magnesium carbonate, which is in the small dispensing bottle right here. Okay. You're going to invert it a couple times. It'll appear like a milky liquid. And you're going to take a couple drops from that and place it directly on top of the filter. Just two drops? Uh, probably about five or six. Okay. 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 So we're going to use the graduated cylinder again. We're going to fill it again with 100 milliliters. But for this test, we're only going to do 100. You want to okay. reinvert it to make sure that any suspended material is, or settled material is now suspended back in the sample. Okay, and as before, you'll pump it just enough time to make sure the water starts passing through the filter. And we can see it's going. Once you complete this filtration, you're going to take the filter and place it into what's called a conical centrifuge tube, meaning that it, it tapers to what is close to a point. Um, so this tube looks a little different than the tube that you place the raw water in for the algae. You're going to place that directly into the conical centrifuge tube, and you're going to wrap this tube with aluminum foil to prevent light from getting inside to cause more algae to grow on the filter. So now you've completed the processing. Before you place these bottles in the freezer, you're going to want to mark the date on the labels, as you can see. That's all you need to do with the sampling procedures. Good work, Karen. Thanks.